Hello, this is a tarot and oracle card reading for Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio in a major chart placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, this could be for you. Let's get into it. <clears throat> this reading is also meant to be timeless, which means I don't think it matters when I create or post this reading. What truly matters is when it showed up for you. That's when you were supposed to see it. Now, as I make this reading, it is around Halloween. So I might be using the Halloween tarot and maybe even the Halloween Oracle with this reading. We'll see. But I'm going to kick it off with, with this Mystic Midnight Oracle. Mystic Midnight Oracle here. This deck is kind of um, a little bit dark here, so we'll see what comes out. But I did feel drawn to use it, so there's got to be a message for somebody. But this might be one of those messages that doesn't resonate for everybody, so only take it if it resonates. This is a general collective reading either way. You need to use your intuition to know if this resonates with you. Okay. Hmm. So I feel like there was somebody or could you be dealing with this person? This could be future energy, but it's probably past because I'm assuming they're going to start by having me talk about the situation so that you can identify it and know if it's for you, for you or not. So I feel like um, there was a situation where somebody overpowered you and forced you into a situation. So that could just be mentally overpowering you. It doesn't mean like they physically overpowered you, but um, they might have manipulated you into a situation. Um, this person also might have been on kind of a witch hunt here. They might have accused you of something um, that you didn't do. It might have been a misunderstanding. And um, so this it's not really great energy coming out. Like I said, I knew that with this deck. So this this only take it if it resonates with you. So this person, it just wasn't a very good energy. This person lied a lot. Um, they were just kind of a snake. I have this snake card here. They were kind of a snake. They lied a lot um, or told a lot of half truths. So it might have been partially true or, you know, I don't know. And just have this really kind of nasty energy towards you. Okay, so... Let's find out with this deck what else spirits wants you to know. Like I said, they might have tried to manipulate you. So it's not really great energy here. Tried to get you to do something you didn't want to do. Lied about you or to you. Attacked you, accused you, you know, and I think it was all a misunderstanding. I don't think you did anything wrong here. They might have been reacting from their own trigger as far as like accusing you of something and attacking you. They might have been, you know, just being defensive. Okay, so what do we need to know? What else? I have no idea where this reading is going. I don't know if it's going to be one of those, this is your twin flame and they change, or if this is going to be just giving you advice on how to deal with this person or, you know, why they're even bringing this up. Six of pumpkins. So that's like the six of pentacles. So either this person breadcrumbed you or they could be saying that things are going to balance out with this situation. Four of pumpkins. So it's like the four of pentacles. And five of ghosts. So the five of ghosts would be like the five of cups. So that would be like you thought everything was over with this situation. Oh, is it going to be one of those comeback stories? <laughs> okay. Um, so you thought everything was over. Or maybe they did. I don't know. Somebody felt like all was lost in this situation. But there might still be two cups standing. So they might have also ghosted you. They might have breadcrumbed you. But again, things are going to balance out potentially here. But we have the four of pumpkins. And that's like clinging to something too tightly, I think. Let me check with this deck to see what this their definition is. Because that doesn't really resonate with... I mean, I guess it could. It could be that you really loved this person. And even though they lied to you and attacked you and manipulated you, you could have 
been really sad that things didn't work out. It's like they had, maybe they had a good side to them too, but maybe they had a side that was kind of, you know, hurt people, hurt people. So they may have had a side that was in their ego. And so maybe you love them and you were sad that they, that they left, but it's like things are going to even out here, but you might need to, if you're wanting things to even out, if you actually want to be with this person, if this is a romantic situation, you might be clinging to the idea of fixing things with them too tightly and thus creating resistance, or they might be up doing that. But let me, I want to look in here and find out what their definition is just to see if we can get a little bit more on this. Yeah, stability and prosperity without complacency. For future harvest, it's planting time. Material success from hard work. And then, but this also says, um, miserly tendencies. I don't even know what word that is, <laughs> miserly. Um, maybe tendencies to be miserable, I don't know. <laughs> but that doesn't even make sense. Okay. So it might be time, they're saying it might be time to kind of plant the seeds or you could be getting material success from hard work in the past. Usually this will be the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles in my regular deck would be like clinging to things too tightly. But in this case, I do like to go by the images. So I feel like um, this person or you are gonna be planting seeds with regard to the situation or you have in the past to make things better between the two of you. Let's get um, the Halloween Oracle here and let's get a card from that. So as I lifted the deck, this card kind of flew out and I do believe that it needs to be taken here. I think it flew out on purpose. This says the underworld where all things pause and begin again. So that's like a death card. Endings bring new beginnings. So things might have ended with you and this person. It's really weird energy like with them being so manipulative accusing you of things, attacking you, and, and telling you lies. Like, you know, you always ask, why would you want this person back? But like I said, that might be just one side of them or just kind of what went wrong in the end. I mean, obviously there's a good side to them. Otherwise, you know, why would you have wanted them? So, you know, I feel like with the five of ghosts, like you or them might have been really sad that things ended but things are gonna balance out. But I think, you know, right now or recently you guys have planted seeds. And then let's read this card. Another realm, shadow filled, travel from death's bed, where we stop and transform within the realm of the dead. The idea of an underworld, a whole realm that we go to after we die is a concept that crosses a huge variety of cultures and eras. The Sumerians, the Turkish, the Incas, the Greeks, through to the Siberians, the Marari and the Chimers all had a distinct word for the underworld. What is different though is how those cultures treat this concept, whether the underworld is seen as a place of rest and rejuvenation or horror and punishment. The Christian hell is a place of darkness, fire, and punishment. The Egyptian underworld is one of judgment, peace, and renewal. In Maori culture, it is an in-between place of waiting, wisdom, and transition. Many myths that mention the underworld often involve the concept of a place of waiting and tr of trials and eventual judgment. It can also be a place of joy and peace. Should the underworld card be present in your reading, you are being asked to consider exactly what you have to do to transform your life into something you find easier or more authentic to you. This may involve changing course. It may involve trials and, tr and tests. Keep moving. Whilst things may fall away and your life may appear bare for a time, this is temporary. Space is being made into which you can create the new. So I do feel like this is kind of like the death card and you know what I just read, I don't know if that fits in perfectly with this reading, but <clears throat> I feel like you know this is just you releasing this person and because you release this person, either they come back changed or you find you create space for somebody new and so maybe that's, you know, planting the seeds here and balancing things out in your life um, or with this person. 
So I'm actually going to stop this part of the reading here and we're gonna go into a bonus extended reading. So what you can take from this part of the reading is that you know with, partic this, with this particular person, if this even resonates with you, um, somebody was sad about the ending, but it is a five, which means the situation can or will change. Um, things will balance out in your life. I don't know if it's with this person or with somebody else. And there's something about planting seeds here and you like reaping the harvest. So now might be the time to plant the seeds or recently, but then the, the underworld card, it's like, this is just death. Endings bring new beginnings, death and rebirth, transformation, transition. So either you knowing this person and that getting them out of your life is going to help you bring transition because you learned a lesson or by you setting boundaries with this person and getting them out of your life, um, maybe they change and come back. So either way, it's like, I feel like it's saying because of this situation, you learned lessons, you learned what you don't want. You don't want somebody to treat you like that. And you probably had to set boundaries with this person and let them go, maybe because of this bad behavior. <clears throat> But I think by doing, by letting them go, you're, you're creating space for new. And that, I don't know if that's them changing at this point or them coming back. We will find that out in the bonus extended reading, hopefully. We're going to ask for more clarification at least and hope that we get some clarification on if this person's coming back change or if this is a new person um, and just what else you need to know. What other advice you need to know about this situation. That's what we're going to find out in the bonus extended reading. We're going to ask what's going to happen with regard to the situation in the next six months to a year or sooner, because that's kind of long term, you know, that endings bring new beginnings. Obviously, eventually you're going to move on, right? But how long is it going to take you to move on? We're going to find out if that new beginning comes for you within the next six months to a year or sooner. If this resonates for you and you want to watch the extended, go down below, click the link that takes you to my Patreon. <clears throat> You'll notice it's only $5. Excuse me. Hold on. <clears throat> voice is being groggy today. <clears throat> it's only $5.55 to watch the bonus extended reading. <clears throat> and so, you know, it's very minimal cost for not just this one reading that actually gets you exclusive unlimited access to all of the bonus readings that I've done up until this point and all of the readings that I do going forward. So it's not just this one reading. So it's actually a lot of extra content, a lot of extra wisdom from the divine details. So if you want to watch the rest of this, if you feel like this is for you and you're just really need to know, <laughs> want to know uh, more about it, go down below, click the link. You can have instant access to the rest of this reading where we're going to find out Kind of what exactly are they talking about here? Is this a person coming back or is it because you got them out of your life that you just move on with somebody new? We'll try to get that clarification and find out what's going to happen for you with regard to this situation in the, in the next six months to a year or sooner. So go down below, click the link that takes you over to my Patreon. If you want a personal reading, you can get it on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. Um, be sure to hit the like and share button, if you will, and comment down below before you go watch the bonus extended reading to let me know if you think this is for you. Does this resonate with you for a situation? Love knowing who it's for. And of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I put out another video so you don't miss any details from Spirit. Okay, I will see you in the bonus extended.